We're back with the Uniden Bearcat 980 SSB, and our mission is to install this in a 2021 Toyota Tacoma without any drilling, screws, or damage to the vehicle. So let's see if we can get that done. I started with this basic piece of metal strapping. This type of strapping can be found at any hardware store. You can ignore the measurements that are written on it right now. These were only estimates, and I adjusted them throughout this build. However, each line does represent a point at which this strap will be bent. This ended up being my first basic shape. You can use it for reference. And as you can see, the tight fold here in the bottom is designed for me to be able to nicely fit the original mounting bracket into place. Yours may be a little bit different. But the idea is to clip this over the cup holder on the driver side of the Toyota Tacoma. All of this is made out of metal, and I don't want to scratch up the interior of the vehicle. Remember, this is designed to be a no-damage mount. Therefore, I'm going to cover this thing with a little bit of scrap leather. These measurements here are the actual final measurements of this piece. I drilled a hole here at the bottom so that I could rivet the factory bracket to my new little mount. Then I'll cover the entire thing with this blue suede. I don't need this for any shoes right now, so I'm going to use it for this project. I'll be dyeing it black, just in case you're wondering. And here you can see how the whole thing came together. This is what the new bracket looks like with the radio attached. It slips over the cup holder, rests along my right leg, and it's completely out of the way. Here's the wiring. But how did I get that here without drilling? Well, let me show you. On the firewall on the driver's side, you should see this small grommet. This is a pass-through grommet that comes out through the insulation under the dash. Now, I can see someone out there pushing their glasses up their nose and saying, well, actually, this technically causes damage and you lied in your video. Well, if you're that person, please leave a comment below. I'm glad you're here. The hole in the grommet and the insulation represent the only holes necessary in this build. You can use the tool of your choice to punch through the insulation. Personally, I went to my drawer full of tools used in horror movies and I grabbed an ice pick. So that's what I used. Moving on, Here's some skip reception on this radio. Currently, it's running barefoot on a 102 whip. So now, of course, you're wondering. How did I install the antenna without drilling any holes in the Tacoma? Well, I can tell you that I did it, and that's a video for another time. Depending upon when you're watching this video, it may even be linked down below. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.